What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm pumped up, excited. I think it's gonna be a good day because when the waves are up like this, it gets all the bait stirred up and it gets all the fish excited. Doing the evening bite, I got about an hour and a half, two hours before the sun goes down. I'm gonna get my rod set up, throw them out there. Let's see if we can catch some fish. What I got here is deep trough close to shore, sandbar, and then behind it, the water looks pretty deep. So I'm gonna put one bait close looking for whiting in this trough, and then I'm gonna focus my other baits just past the sandbar and even further past the sandbar, see if anything's cruising out there in that deeper water. Got a piece of shrimp, green shrimp fish bite, just a green get em bead on the bottom. And then on the top dropper, I have a white cutlass float and just a piece of shrimp. And this is my 12 foot ninja dagger rod. I'm just gonna throw it as far as I can out there, get it in that deep trough see which might be cruising. This one I have a standard pompano rig. I'm just using frozen shrimp on it. And on all my pompano rigs, I use number one owner Mutu light circle hooks. There's what the top float looks like, pink and white. This is my nine foot rod. And so it's actually not gonna cast as far as my 12 foot rod. So I'm just gonna throw this one as far as I can as well. Get it past that sandbar. This line is slack, very slack. If there's a fish on there, he's not fighting, but I do feel weight. Yeah, there's a fish there. I can see my line moving. What we got? What's the first fish of the day? And it's bait, blue runner. I did bring a rod with a fish finder rig on it to target red fish. So I'm gonna cut this guy up and throw him out there. Yep, got something already hitting the other rod too. All right, all right. He started pulling. There we go, oh, jumping. Hopefully it's not a ladyfish. I just saw it back end of it jump out of the water a little bit. Could be a pond. Come on, buddy. Swimming in, swimming in. Nope, that's a ladyfish. I was hoping it was a pond. I just saw silver jumping out of the water. That's enough to get me excited. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this ladyfish for bait as well. See what the reds are preferring today. Two rods out, both got hit pretty much right away. So makes me hopeful that there's some pompano or redfish cruising out there. All right, well, let's get a chunk of this blue runner out there. Just gonna hook his head. What I mean by a fish finder rig is I got a sinker slider, a white bead just to keep it from hitting my swivel. And then from the swivel, it's just like a foot to 18 inches of leader to your hook. And I believe this is 30 pound mono leader. And this is a four aught owner Mutu circle hook. And I'm just gonna hook that blue runner right through the head, going through his mouth. And see if, see if a red wants to eat it. And we go, just like that. Lob it out there, but I want it in that area where the waves are breaking good. And on my fourth rod, I just have a single drop, no bead, no float. I'm gonna keep this rod close to shore over here. I'm gonna put it on this side of the sandbar where the waves are breaking. Why do you like hanging out in that wash? Makes him feel safe. Oh yeah. Oh, oh it's pulling like crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, be a good fish. Don't be a lady. Dang, I looked up. I was over there just sit down and play on my phone. No, it came off. Oh, I saw it come up and splash. I'm going to tell myself that was a ladyfish. All right, let's get it back out there. There we go.
Good pulls. A lot of head shakes. Aggressive fish right here. That's how we like it though, right? Running in. Running in fast. Come on, come on. Be that pump, man. He's fighting a little bit like a pump. Nope, that's a ladyfish. Another big ladyfish, man. That one's even bigger than the last one. He hammered that rod. These guys will get you excited and they poop everywhere. Look at that. He's got poop all over the place. They just shoot it all over. All right, let's get this guy back. I'll do one more bait check and then that's gonna be it for me. That sun is going down pretty quick. Oh man, he's already hooked up. It just hit the water. I was just getting my drag ready. It's probably way too tight. I ain't got time for that though. Just gotta catch this fish and loosen it a little bit. I mean, that bait wasn't in the water, but maybe 10 seconds. Come on in, buddy. Old lady fish. It is a lady kind of day, I guess. It's another nice big lady fish. They've been out here just gorging on whatever, everything they can get in their mouth and get nice and big. I can't wait till you guys fill up and leave though. See you later. All right, I'm gonna move this rod. It been sitting here the whole time. Nothing's touched it. Still has shrimp on it, I believe. Yep, still has shrimp on it. And I'm moving it away from my other rods because for whatever reason the rod on this side has been getting hit more so i'm gonna move it over here and i'm gonna get it out past the sandbar just like the other rod and see if anything changes because it's just been sitting over there the whole time there's no sense in letting it keep sitting there there we go that didn't take long just threw it back out this has got the Number six hook, 15 pound. Single drop rig on it. I feel weight, not much fight, little head shakes. I can see the fish, he's on top, floating. Not very big, whatever it is. What is it, is that a mangrove? It's a mangrove snapper. No way. Nice, a little mangrove. Oh man, he's probably not a keeper. Look at that perfect hook set, side of the mouth with that number six owner Moochie light hook. Beautiful fish though, love these guys. He's definitely not keeper. He's probably like eight or nine inch, but that is a cool catch out here at the beach. Beautiful fish, let's get him back. Come on. Yes, hooked up. Make sure I get, put some pressure on that hook. I wanna get a good hook set on. This rod has been out the whole time I've been here, finally goes off. Oh, I was going to put a, a piece of shrimp on, turn around, heard some drag. All right, let's see what we got. Not much fight to him, but he's definitely, a big fish, got some weight. Right there in the serve. I still can't tell what it is. I think it's a blue fish. Yep, big blue fish. Oh my, that might beat my PB. That is a monster blue. Holy crap. Yeah, that, that might be my new PB out here. That is a big blue fish. 
You gotta watch these guys. They got some serious teeth on them. Dang. That is a nice bluefish right there. I, I can't really get a good measurement out of my cart. The, I need to replace the measuring. But anyways, he's, he's, a, he's just thick, nice big blue. But let's get him back. That was an awesome catch. That makes having that cup bait out there all day worth it for me. All right, see you, buddy. Get out there. Well, dang, catching mangroves, catching big bluefish. It makes me want to stay. All the ladies finally quit biting, and the good species showed up. So I'm, I'm going to get this back out, man. Put another piece of shrimp on there. I'm even going to throw the, some more cut bait out there. Another chunk. Rip off that dorsal fin. It's just going to get in the way. That'd be awesome to catch another blue. Really want a red, though. I do. I'm, I'm like obsessed with catching red fish. All right, this other rod next to me is going off. Nothing big on it, but it, it's, it's there. There's something. There. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Nice. Caught up to him. He's still hooked. It's one thing I love about these owner Mutu light hooks. They, they stay in their mouth really well. Running in, running in, come on, come on. What we got? Another ladyfish. Dang, I spoke too soon. I thought they stopped biting. Big old ladyfish. See, you, man. I was so shocked I caught that mangrove. I didn't even think to come show it to this camera. I just got it back in the water, but man, that is awesome. Pumped up. Like, that is such a cool catch to me. You don't, you do not catch mangrove snapper out here on the beach often at all. I have done it before. That's actually the third one I've ever caught out here. I ended up staying a little later than I said I would, but hey, the fish started biting. I mean, you can't leave when the fish are biting. That end rod's going off. Let me go get that. I'm pecking at it. Nothing big. Probably a catfish, you know what? That's probably what's happening. It is. The sun's going down and I even said it, I called it earlier. That probably start catching catfish right at sundown. And I've crossed my rod. I hate catfish. If you wonder why everyone hates catfish just because they just nuisance they don't fight the poisonous no one really wants to eat them and they just get all your rods tangled up i mean look at that i knew they were cats double cat but what is that is that another a cat and a pinfish god like what kind of combo is that all right let's get this catfish back first that's a pinfish they make great bait if I wasn't about to leave, I'd throw them out alive, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to slowly start packing up. But I'm going to call that a good day on the beach. I, I caught a very unexpected species out here, and the, it never really slowed down. I was stayed relatively busy the whole time. Granted, they were ladyfish at the start, but always good to end the day with a couple nice fish and just enjoy yourself out here on the beach but anyways i'm gonna start wrapping it up and hope you all enjoy this video and until next time take care and tie lines